Okay, let me show you guys how to create a roller coaster in Blender using physics. So as you can see, if I play this back, you'll see that we have this amazing little roller coaster car and it's actually moving along the track using physics only, no keyframes whatsoever. So let me quickly show you how to create this. I'm gonna hide this car. So we start off with our track. We can create the track using cylinders and I just used a simple uh, bend modifier um, I think I used the simple deform and I just bent it along that axis to create something like this. You can do anything to create your track really. And then we have this middle piece that's separate. And the reason we have this is we're going to use the normals of this middle section to align our car with. So if I go into edit mode on this middle section and I show you the normals, you will see that the normals are pointing upwards and that's going to be used to align the rotation. So let me show you how I did this. So first of all, you create a normal sphere. And uh, for this sphere, I have added a active rigid body, made it 1000 kilograms, changed the shape to sphere, set this friction. You can play around with that. That really doesn't matter. And then on the track section, the outside section, I've added a passive rigid body um, and I've set the shape to mesh and deform. That also really, really doesn't matter. And you can also change your uh, friction and bounciness to get the result you want. So basically we have the sphere just rolling around on our track. And then what I did is I created an empty object. And on this empty object, I created a copy location constraint. And then we are using the sphere as the target and we're using the axes X, Y, and Z. So basically the empty object, if I just highlight that, you can see that it's following our sphere. It's not rotating because it's just copying the location. And then we have our car. So I will suggest you start off by using a very simple object like a cube or a rectangle. And then on this object, I have added two constraints. So the first one, let me just disable this second one. The first one is just a simple copy location constraint again. And then the target for that is our empty object. So basically our car is just following the empty like that. And then this is the secret source. This is the shrink wrap constraint. And this will basically use the mid track section, this section with all the normals showing or pointing upwards, basically. It's gonna use that as the target. And then the mode is very important. We're gonna use target normal project. And that's gonna align it to those normals of the mid track. And then you can obviously change or play with this distance amount. And I've set the snap mode to on surface and we wanna align to the Z normals. And if we enable that, you can see that it's um, aligning itself to the rotation. And now if we play this back, you can see that our car is following the shape of our track. So really simple stuff. Um, yeah, I hope this helps anyone who wants to create something like this in Blender. And um, that's basically it. Have a cool day and consider subscribing. See you guys next time. Cheers, bye.